is my favourite panto. It has a lot of historical uh, value for me personally. It was the first show I ever saw here. It was the first professional show I ever worked on, which is where I met Jimmy for the first time. And now it's the first show that I've uh, written. It was a decision made by a theatre director. Um, he chose Aladdin as, as a title because we hadn't done it for a number of years. But I mean, I was elated because it's, it's my favourite, personally. I, I love Aladdin and I love the story of it. So, uh, Bernie, she's playing the genie and she brings so much to the show. She's off for about four hours before you see her. <laughs> but once she's on, she is on. And she just brings all the magic. She's there for the kids. And she definitely keeps up the morale because she's a crazy human being, but she's great, she's perfect. Richard Monday is playing Abanaza, he was last here as the Beast, so it's a complete sort of flip turn, although the Beast is slightly mysterious, he's actually a good guy in Beauty and the Beast, uh, whereas this time he is an out and out villain, which is something I don't believe he's ever played before, so he's really enjoying getting to do something different, which is nice, uh, and it's a welcome return because he's a, it's a lovely man who is great. And of course you've got us two who are returning, and we're just stupid through and through. Yeah, we're we, always going to be here. Yeah, we keep uh, we like to keep everyone entertained by just changing little bits, just to keep uh, keep rehearsals fresh. Keep people on their toes. Yeah, That's exactly. And you know, you never you never know what you're going to get when you come to see the playhouse. It might be ever so slightly different from the last time you saw the show. So for worth sure. worth coming more than once. <laughs> Aladdin is most definitely a show for all the family. It's got elements of everything. It doesn't matter on your age, whether you're a small child, to a middle-aged child, to a teenager, even to a grandparent, you know. Everybody gets involved. There's adult humour in there. There's child um, exciting stuff in there. There's magical effects. There's songs that everybody's going to know. And it's just a flat-out, big musical production, really. The pantomime is slightly different to the Disney version of the uh, story, although it follows a lot of the same pattern. There's a family of the Twankies, which Wishy Washy, who I play, uh, the mum, Widow Twanky, and Aladdin Twanky. Uh, they, they run a, a laundry in town, they're quite poor, and you've got the Emperor of Peking, who's very protective of his daughter, and Aladdin is in love with the, uh, with the princess. There's a, there's a bad guy who wants to get a magical lamp, and he needs Aladdin to get into the cave, and then we find the lamp and then it all kind of magical journey follows from there. You might see a slosh scene. Um, You'll definitely see a ghost gag. Yeah, yeah. do it again <laughs> then, won't we? <laughs> For me, the best part to be here in Harlow doing the panto is literally the people in this building, along with the audiences of Harlow. I mean, the audiences of Harlow are great, they're so welcoming and warming, but everybody in this building just makes makes it feel like such a family and brings everybody together constantly. It's lovely. I completely agree with Jim. My parents met here, I met my wife here, I met friends that are, you know, long-term friends now, like Jimmy. Um, I got married here, so like this building, literally, my family run through it and it, it it's, I feel like it's a part of me really. I, I love this building, I love the people in it, and I hope to long continue working here. I mean, <laughs> dancing is a challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, uh, some people are triple threat, some people can sing, dance, and act. I would consider myself to be singular threat, and uh, acting, yep, I'll, I'm, up, I'm up for that, but dancing and singing. And I'll tell you what, I'm not very good at dancing. But I'll get there by the time the show is there, I'm sure. You've but got the moves, come on. Just Don't be hard on yourself. Just not necessarily in the right order at the right time. <laughs> uh, for me, it's uh, in rehearsals. There's, there's loads that's hard. I mean, being the Dane, you're pretty much on constantly. So there's a lot to take in. And then you'll do certain routines which go well. And all of a sudden you'll go, actually, we'll add a little something else to that, which then makes your brain work overtime. It will get there, of course it will, that's what rehearsals are for. Come and see us here at the Harlow Playhouse. Really great show, the cast are amazing, They're, they can all sing apart from me, they can all dance apart from me, uh, and they can all act, including me.